let me give you a word for the day, a Bible word for the day, and that word is admonish. What does that word mean? We find it in Romans 15, 14. We are encouraged that we are to be able also to admonish one another. And the word admonish means to warn or to caution. Now, how can we apply that to our Christian walk, our Christian lives, our behavior, our interactions with other people? I think right off you need to notice that the word admonish does not carry with it a negative connotation. I do not believe it is a word that uh, encourages you to berate, belittle, or divide yourself from somebody or look down on them. But the word seems to emphasize that through your warning and caution, you are encouraging them, you're helping them, you're lifting them up, you're seeking to bring positivity to their negative situation. And so as a Christian, I want to find people that are on their way to hell and say, look, I want to warn you about about hell, about eternity. Let me point you to the right direction. Let me admonish you with the Word of God, with the truth of God, with the fact that you do not have to go to hell. And let me caution you and, and to avoid that path. Uh, or if I see somebody that I can minister to or influence and to not go down a path of selfishness or, or the world, I want to admonish them. I don't want to beat them over the head with the Word of God. I don't want to fuss at them. I'm not seeking to elevate myself above them, but to lovingly lead them along. And Christians are to be doing that to brothers and sisters in Christ, in the church, in our families, uh, at work, in the neighborhood. Whatever realm of influence God has allowed you to have, we need a good word like that in our vocabulary uh, being applied to our lives every day, like the word admonish. We need to find people that need to be warned or cautioned about a specific thing, whatever God leads you to talk to them about or see. And it, again, it's not to elevate yourself above them. It's not to beat them down. It's to lift them up. It's to encourage them. And so I love taking words like that in the Word of God, focusing a little bit on them and seeing where God can teach me through that one word, that one thing, that maybe I can make a difference in somebody else's life. So today admonish someone in your family, uh, in your circle of friends, in your community, at work. Uh, warn them, caution them about the things of God. Uh, if you don't know whether or not they're saved and on their way to heaven, bring up a word of caution about eternity, about death, about the reality of death. Uh, maybe if it's uh, some vice that the devil is using to grip their heart and their life, admonish them, give them a word of caution, and you do it in a kind, loving, and affectionate way, always seeking to let them see the heart of God through whatever you say to them or however you talk to them. And so the greatest goal that we would have is to admonish people to follow God, to look to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. If you ever had the opportunity to watch some of the videos we put out uh, on today's Anchor Point, the goal is always to uh, warn people and caution people against anchoring their faith to anything other than Jesus Christ. But it's to point them to the one that will keep them anchored. So through the concept of warning and cautioning, we're not just fussing at somebody. We're not just um, belittling what they're doing, but we're showing them the better option, the greatest option, which is Christ and His Word. And so today, uh, take that word admonish, put it in your vocabulary, and put it into practice every single day. Great reference, Romans 15, 14.